Mohammed Nwazi was born in Kuwait in 1988 and emigrated to Britain when he was six. He grew up in West London in a middle-class family and graduated with a degree in computer science from Westminster University in 2009. Friends say he started to radicalize when he attempted to travel to Tanzania with two friends. There, they were interrogated and denied entry. And Wazi returned home via Amsterdam, where he was questioned by Dutch and British security services. He claimed an officer from the MI5 accused him of trying to travel to Somalia. Angered by his treatment, he decided to move to Kuwait, where he got a job with an IT company. He traveled back to London twice. The second time, in June 2010, he was searched and fingerprinted the day before he was due to travel back to Kuwait. He was then prevented from returning to Kuwait. He was also reportedly prevented from traveling to Saudi Arabia to teach English in 2012. Mwazi then somehow managed to travel to Syria in 2012 and later joined ISIS. How he did this, despite being on a terror watch list, remains unclear. Former hostages said Mwazi was part of a team that guarded Western captives at a prison in Syria in 2013, where he was seen with two other men with British accents. He also reportedly was involved in waterboarding Western captives. 